The model number of laptop that I am doing this procedure on is a MSI GF63 Thin TSC222 US. The first thing you will want to do is you will want to go to the website, the link that you see in the address bar of the web browser. If you cannot pause the video and see that address, don't worry because I will put it in the video description link. This is the proprietary tool that you use to build your USB device so that you can boot from it in order to restore and fix the factory partition and then you can restore your laptop to the way it was when you first bought it. I would just like to note that this procedure will work on other models of the MSI laptops. What I'm going to be doing today on this laptop, it has a corrupted partition. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace and the person that I bought it off of could not factory reset the computer. And they said they didn't know why. The reason is is because once it was upgraded to Windows 11, through the Windows update, it kind of, on this particular laptop, has a software problem that the manufacturer didn't foresee that you cannot restore the original image unless you've already made a backup. So you cannot push F3 and go into the system partition and restore the laptop to Windows 10. In fact, though, I have a way around that. In fact, if your partition is corrupted at all, even for another reason, I'm gonna show you how you can fix that on these laptops. They say it works for different models of MSI, the, the gaming laptops. I cannot guarantee that your model will work. Only I can only guarantee it to work with the one that I'm working on now, but you're welcome to try it with other models. So when you first turn on the laptop to boot into the system restore, you just start tapping function three right here. And that will take you into a boot up menu. And you're gonna want to go down to troubleshoot and push enter. And then it will have these options, reset this PC, restore MSI factory settings or advanced options. If you hit restore, then you will see where it says system partition recovery. However, when you choose that, it will come up with an error every time. It will not let you recover and restore the factory settings. And in fact, the solution I'm about to show you will fix that and you will be able to restore it to factory Windows 10. And then once that is done, you will want to go ahead and make a system a backup. And that way you won't have to do it the way I'm gonna show you again. You will have that backup on a thumb drive. And if you ever need to restore your computer, it'll be a lot easier. Well, let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to need to pick up is a USB thumb drive. And what we're gonna be using the thumb drive for is to make this bootable USB drive that can repair the built-in partition that the computer came with. 
because since Windows 11 was installed, the file structure is totally different. And that's why you're getting the error on your laptop that you can't actually use the recovery partition anymore. You're gonna need a at least an eight gigabyte. And I have gotten a 64 gigabyte. The reason being is in October of 2022, they really don't make small drives anymore. You can pick up a USB thumb drive, 64 gigabyte at Walmart for around $10. And that's gonna work. I'm actually gonna be doing two jobs with this thumb drive. I'm gonna be making this rescue uh, bootable thumb drive that I'm gonna show you how to do. And then after that, I'm going to back up my system with an image that comes with the laptop. For reference purposes, I'm using a 64 gigabyte thumb drive. You're gonna to have to have a second computer in order to format this drive and to make it bootable. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. It's my other laptop. You may not have to do this next step, but if you do, it is for any USB drive that is over 32 gigabytes in size. This one is 64 gigabytes and it needs to be formatted as FAT32. And you will see that anything above 32 gigabytes does not have the option to be formatted with FAT32. So what I am doing is downloading a free third-party software that allows you to format your thumb drive if it is larger than 32 gigabytes in FAT32. I will include the link for this special software in the video description box in this video or you might be able to see the link if you pause the video in the web browser bar. This software works free of charge and is totally free. Next thing you wanna do is extract the contents of the download file just like I'm doing here. You wanna copy the folder that has the files just like this and then copy them all and just pull it over to your USB drive. You can see that there are two folders in that file once you extract it. It is very important that you click to the bottom folder, the subfolder, and just copy all of the files over. You do not want to copy those folders over if you do, your USB drive will not be bootable. So just copy it after you select all of those files and just copy those files over and you should be good to go and ready to boot. Next thing I'm gonna do is I have made the thumb drive bootable with the software tools to restore the partition on the laptop. I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug it from the second computer and I am ready to plug it into the main laptop. After you've prepared the thumb drive, you're gonna to wanna to plug it into a USB port on your laptop. And then here's the power button right here. You push the power button and start tapping F11. And this will give you a boot menu. And you can see that since it is formatted with FAT32, you can select USB partition one. And I'm gonna push enter. And it should boot from this USB thumb drive now. And Next, it will boot up to MSI Recover System. And right here, it says System Partition Recovery. So I'm gonna select that, and it says all files and settings 
will be reset and lost on this computer. Are you sure you want to continue? And you put it on yes, click yes. Do it one more time. And you can see it will say waiting. You'll see the circle kind of spinning around. And what this is doing, it's totally resetting your computer to factory settings. This utility may work on other MSI laptops, such as the gaming series or other ones. All you have to do is just download the utility, just like I showed you, and give it a try. The worst it can do is not work. As you can see, that took roughly three minutes to complete. I'm gonna put the arrow on the OK and left click on OK, and it's gonna restart the laptop. And this time it's gonna boot from the hard drive instead of the thumb drive. Now, since this factory resetted the software to like when you first got or purchased like when you first purchased the laptop, if you had to do this process, more than likely you did not create a recovery media. And the best way to do that, you can turn around and use that same thumb drive that you use to create the tool and to restore the laptop. You can use it to make a backup and that's what you should have done in the first place. And then we wouldn't have had to go through all this. Uh, there is an icon at the bottom with a dragon. It is called the MSI Dragon Center. And what you want to do, it won't let you click next unless you click all of this reading material all the way to the bottom. And then the next button will highlight. And you just click next scroll all the way down and click I have read and I agree to the MSI terms and then left click OK and what's going to happen is it's going to ask you if you want to register I don't want to register yet and it's going to show you this user interface of CPU usage, GPU usage, how much disk space you have, how much memory is left, the temperature of your computer. What you're going to want to do is over here on the left side, it's going to say Home, My Device, Support, and Tools. Left click on Tools. Here's where you can choose your battery health option. And I'm going to put it on Best for Battery because I'm not going to be taking this portable a lot. If you're going to be using your laptop not plugged into the wall, you may want to put it on best for mobility and that way it will use all of its resources and you'll be able to play the games in portable mode. But it will drain your battery faster. So since I'm not going to be doing that, I put it best for battery. Now over here, beside the battery master, which is what is selected, left click on backup. And right here, it gives you the option to, gives you the option to make a recovery USB flash disk or ISO files. And if you want, and you have an external DVD burner drive, you can plug that into the USB and it will write the disk to the image and it will make you a set of recovery DVDs. But what I'm going to opt to do, you don't have to use the same thumb drive that you use to make the utility to restore the computer. You do need at least a USB 2.0 
32 gigabyte USB thumb drive. I have that thumb drive inside of the laptop. I'm going to click next. And it shows me that I have a USB SanDisk 3.2 generation one USB device. The action will format your USB flash drive. Are you sure you want to continue? Now make sure there's nothing on the flash drive that you wish to save like pictures or anything because this is going to format which means erase that thumb drive you click OK and this will create a backup restore system so that means if you update to Windows 11 and it corrupts the software like it did, or if there's a corruption or a virus, for any reason, if you have to restart the computer now, you can restore it from this thumb drive. This is what you should have made when you first got your computer. Or if you got your computer like I did and you got it second hand and it could not be restored, as soon as you restore your computer to factory settings, you'll want to make this recovery disk. And that way in the future, if at any time, software wise, your computer messes up, you can totally restore your computer to factory settings. After you've created, after you created your recovery device, you will want to go ahead and start doing those system updates. And since this has just been restored to when you first got it, there's going to be a lot of updates and you can do them in the background. But keep in mind, you might not get the performance from your video card that you want because you're going to want to install the newest driver. That's the newest software for your video card, uh, the newest software for your sound card. And in order to do yeah. that, you just go to start, go to this little gear to where it says settings. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize that. Go to update and security. And we're gonna wanna go to Windows updates. And as you can see, there's going to be hours of updates to do. Now, eventually, it will ask you if you want to update to Windows 11. Again, since you've made the system recovery on the thumb drive device, you can reset it at any time to the factory settings without having to download the recovery tool. So it is up to you in the end if you want to update to Windows 11 or not. Windows Update is great because it's going to download the best software for your video card, your sound card, and also fix security issues where hackers could get into your computer. You can see that's what all this does. Now this is going to take hours to do and you may even have to restart your computer a couple of times but it is worth doing and you don't even have to do it all today you can minimize this and just work in the background okay guys hopefully this video has helped you if you like this video please smash that like button uh, consider subscribing to my channel and until next time Take care of yourselves and each other.